It was one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life. It really, really freaked us out. Jason Welliver is still coming to terms with what he saw happen Tuesday night at this Edgewater intersection. In this surveillance video exclusively obtained by Fox 35 News, you can see the driver of a white car crash right into the back of a motorcycle stopped at the red light near Ridgewood and Park. We've paused the video at the moment of impact. This picture taken by Edgewater police shows a mangled aftermath. That wasn't like a rawr and you got hit or oh my god I can make this light. No, no that was just a never touched her brake. Police identified the suspected drunk driver as 62 year old Lisa Lang and she's no stranger to the law. She's had three prior DUI convictions according to police. Her first in 1994 and the other two almost a decade later. How does somebody like that still drive? How? 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 Do you allow that to keep happening? Daniel Lysing, a defense attorney, says he's not surprised someone with three DUI convictions is still driving, but the penalties are much more serious after a fourth DUI conviction. It can come with a two to $5,000 fine and up to five years in prison, and it's likely Lang would also have to give up her license as a standard in these cases. Unless the state was willing to amend this to an entirely different charge, if it remains a DUI, the permanent revocation is going to take place. I cried three times at scene. I'm a pretty tough guy. It killed me. It hurt me so bad. A biker himself, Jason hopes Lang never gets behind the wheel of a car again. How can you keep getting out? How can you keep doing this? It doesn't make any sense to me. Lang remains at the Volusia County Jail. As for the 75-year-old rider from Ohio, at last check, he was in serious condition. In the studio, I'm Patrick Perez, Fox 35 News.